Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have completed installation setup and importing the dataset from Kaggle to Google Colab. In this tutorial, we will do data pre-processing. Let us begin. Now scroll up. So this is the data set that we are going to use here. There are total 371 columns in this data set. You can see here. Now scroll down. Check the shape of this data set. Dot shape execute. So in this data set there are 76020 observations and 371 columns. Now we have to select independent and dependent variables. Let us select independent variables first. Or we can say that matrix of features x is equal to dataset dot drop. Here we will drop the columns. Type labels. Let us check the dataset again. First label is id. So this variable will not be correlated with the output. Type id. And go to the end. So this is our last column. Target. Copy this. Paste. Add one more parameter here. Axis axis is equal to 1 when we select axis is equal to 1 that means we are selecting the columns now execute great so we have selected matrix of features successfully here now we have to select dependent variable y is equal to dataset So the last column in our data set is target. So this is our dependent variable. Type target. That's it. Execute. So we have selected independent and dependent variables. Now check the shape. X dot shape comma Y dot shape. Execute. So these are the number of observations, 76,020. In X, we have number of features is equal to 369. That is, these are the number of columns. Whereas in Y, there is only one column, target. Now split the data set into train and test set. Splitting the data set into train and test set first we have to import a library from sklearn dot model selection import train train test split that's it so here we are importing this class train test split from this library sklearn dot model underscore selection now type x train x test comma y train and y test is equal to train test split now specify the parameters here x y then test size 20% that is 0 0.2 and at the end random state 
zero execute so we have successfully splitted the data set into train and test set in the testing set there will be 20% observations and in training set there will be 80% observations let us check the shape x train dot shape comma x test dot shape execute 60816 observations in x train and 15204 observations in x test and 369 is the number of columns after splitting the data set into train and test set we have to remove constant cosy constant and duplicate columns let us do this step 4 remove constant quasi constant and duplicate features let us understand these terms first constant quasi constant and duplicate features when all the values in a column are same then this column is called as constant column so the correlation of constant column with the output is almost none so we have to remove this column constant column let us understand what is quasi constant column when most of the observations in a column are same but one or two observations are different then this column is called as quasi constant column so this column is also not correlated with the output variable let us understand duplicate features or duplicate columns when a column is exactly repeated then this column is called as duplicate column or duplicate feature so we have to remove constant column quasi constant column and duplicate column to do that first we have to import a library from sklearn dot feature selection import variance threshold execute now define an object remove features that is rm underscore f variance threshold so we are defining object rm underscore f of this class variance underscore threshold here we have to specify a parameter threshold i will specify threshold is equal to 0.01 that is 1% so here we have to remove the columns which have variance less than 1% hit on enter x train is equal to rm underscore f dot fit underscore transform x train then x test is equal to rm underscore f dot transform we have to use only transform method not fit underscore transform and in parentheses x test execute great let us understand this first we have defined an object this one rm underscore f while defining this object we have specified threshold is equal to 0.01 that is 1% and after that we have fitted the training data into this object and transformed the same after that we have transformed the x test data also now note down here we don't have to specify fit again we have to use only transform method because we have already fitted the data
let us check the shape x train dot shape comma x taste dot shape execute now note down here 266 columns now scroll up previously it was 369 type 369 minus 266 so we have removed 103 features now note down here with this object rm underscore f we have removed constant and quasi constant features we have removed all the columns that has variance less than 1% that means we have removed constant and quasi constant columns now we have to remove duplicate features add one more cell remove duplicate features now define a variable x train underscore t is equal to x train dot transpose do same with the x test define a variable x test underscore t is equal to x test dot transpose execute great after applying the transpose method columns become rows and rows become columns now convert these two variables into a pandas data frame x underscore train underscore t is equal to pd dot data frame in parentheses x train t and same with the x test pd dot data frame x taste t execute great now check the shape of both x train t shape comma x taste t dot shape execute 266 6816 and 266 15204 column becomes rows and rows become columns you can see here these two are opposites let us check number of duplicate features i will note down here number of duplicate features x underscore train underscore t dot duplicated execute it will take some time to execute great false means not duplicated column and true means column is duplicated we have to check number of duplicate features add one more row copy this paste dot sum execute it will also take little bit time 16 so there are total 16 features which are duplicated now we have to remove all these features now define a variable duplicated underscore features is equal to copy this line paste and print same duplicated features execute As we have discussed earlier, false means column is not duplicated and true means column is duplicated. We have to remove all the true values here. Now we will replace true with the false and false with the true. 
डिफाइन वन मोर वेरिएबल फीचर्स टू कीप इज इक्वल टू नॉट इंडेक्स फॉर इंडेक्स इन डुप्लीकेटेड फीचर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट प्रिंट फीचर्स टू कीप एग्जीक्यूट ग्रेट सो वी हैव टू कीप ऑल दीज फीचर्स नाउ नोट डाउन हियर आफ्टर दैट फॉल्स बिकम ट्रू एंड ट्रू बिकम्स फॉल्स एंड इन दिस वेरिएबल फीचर्स टू कीप वी हैव ओनली ट्रू वैल्यूज फॉल्स वैल्यूज आर रिमूव we don't have any false value here now type x train is equal to x train t features to keep transpose and same with the x test x test t features to keep transpose execute now check the shape x train dot shape x test dot shape 68162501520425050 now there are only 250 features scroll up previously it was 266 266 minus 250 16 is the number of duplicate columns so we have removed 16 duplicated features let us understand this again in data preprocessing first we have defined independent and dependent variable after defining independent and dependent variable there were 369 features then we have splitted the data set into x train and x test after that we have removed constant and quasi constant to do that we have defined this object rm_f and we have defined this object of this class variance threshold we have specified threshold is equal to 1% here we are removing the columns which have variance less than 1% so we have removed constant and quasi constant features after that we have to remove duplicate features to do that first we have applied transpose method on x train and x test then we have converted the same into pandas data frame you can see here columns are rows and rows are columns by doing that it will be easier to remove the columns so we have to remove 16 duplicated columns to remove the duplicated columns we have defined a variable this one duplicated features in this variable false means not duplicated column and true means duplicated column after that we have defined one more variable features to keep here false become true so we have defined this variable to keep only non duplicated columns then we have defined x train and x test with transpose and features to keep variable and at the end you can see here only 250 features that means we have removed 16 duplicated features so this way we have successfully removed constant quasi constant and duplicated features now we have to apply feature scaling from sklearn dot pre processing import standard scalar 
then define an object of this class standard scalar feature scaling is done now check x train execute you can see all the values are scaled so we have successfully applied feature scaling here now check the shape of x train and x test now note down here these values are in one dimension first value is label so we have to convert x train and x test to two dimension that means we have to reshape the data set type x train x train dot reshape by mistake and i have executed reshape now in parenthesis we have to specify the new shape copy this paste comma 1 and same with the x test x test is equal to x test dot reshape Fifteen two zero four comma two fifty comma one execute. Now check the shape again. Execute. Great. Now X train and X test in two dimension. We have to reshape X train and X test because the convolution layer that we are going to use. except the value in this form only now note down here x train and x test are the numpy arrays so we have to convert y train and y test into numpy array type y train is equal to y train dot to numpy and same with the y test y test is equal to y test dot to numpy execute great let us revise what we have learnt in this tutorial first we have defined independent and dependent variables then we have splitted the data set into x train and x test after that we have removed constant quasi constant and duplicated features to do that we have done all these steps then we have done feature scaling you can see here and after that we have reshaped data set first it was in one dimension now it is in two dimension and at the end we have converted y train and y test to numpy array so this tutorial ends here i will see you in the next one till then happy learning